Hello everyone, I've started working on a bit of a Raspberry Pi project. Uh, basically, before even the Raspberry Pi even came out, I was thinking that would be quite a nice project for a rent control vehicle or quadcopter or something. Um, so I started with the easy thing first, a remote control car. Um, basically got a Raspberry Pi, it's running Raspbian and I've uh, found a guy that's making some servo controller boards for it. Um, and it arrived in the post the other day, so I spent half an hour on it and this is how far I've got. We um, got a car, uh, it's an old cheap remote control car, uh, nothing special. Um, Raspberry Pi running here, nothing major, I've got two actually, but this is the one that's plugged in and running. So the Raspberry Pi is underneath as normal, it's powered off the USB, HDMI network, and normal bits. And this is the new board. Um, it's got some sort of little CPU on the top of it which you can program um, but the main thing is it's got eight uh, sort of standard 5 volt servo outputs on it along here um, I've got two of them plugged in at the moment it sits as a daughter board on top of the GPIO um, header I don't know if you can see uh, there somewhere it sort of sits on top and it exposes another set of pins uh, so you can keep on using them if you like. Anyway, um, so effectively, yeah, remote control car. It's got a battery running just the speed controller for the um, for the wheels at the moment. Uh, it's a four-wheel drive car. And then there's a simple 5-volt servo doing the, the turning. So, yeah, here's a quick demo of what it can do so far. And I'm just going to rest this in my... Pots of pens, focus. Right, so um, at the moment I'm echoing serial commands out over to it just on the terminal, but the plan will be to do a bit more. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, effectively, I can control the position of the wheels. This is uh, all the way to the right, um, and by giving it other commands, I can tell them to move all the way to the left um, and back again. And there's also like a servo test program built in. Um, What that actually did was run a test program which cycles all the servos between 0 and 100% or minus 100 and plus 100%. Um, uh, and of course, yeah, you can just control them all separately. So this is what the terminal looks like. Sorry about the shaking. So minus 500 is all the way to the left on servo 1. Uh, oh, sorry, servo 1 is the speed control at the moment. Servo 0 um, is the steering. So if I go plus 500... That's what happens. Uh, and the same with the speed controller on servo position one. Uh, sorry, focus again. It's a bit difficult with just me. Um, so 500 I've worked out is about off. I start incrementing it a bit and do 300. Oh, That's minus 300. And minus 500 is off. And minus a thousand seems to be reversed. Um, so yes, Turned off. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that as a first run. It's uh, it's working quite nicely. The plan is to make a setup so that the Raspberry Pi starts a Wi-Fi access point. Then you can log on with your smartphone onto the access point, and then through a web browser to use the gyroscope in the phone to control forwards, backwards, left, and right. Um, so I need to go away and write the web server now, and I'll come back to you with a part two when that's running, um, and there's a client app that can run on the phone. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that works. So that's how far I've got.